Violence in the metro sent six teenagers to the hospital this weekend. More than 50 shots were fired in a parking lot in Brooklyn Center on Sunday. That parking lot is shared by the Girl Scouts of Minnesota and Wisconsin River Valleys, and a Girl Scout troop was having a meeting at the time. Police tell us the more than 50 shell casings found at the scene came from several different weapons. Danny Spiewak spoke with community safety leaders tonight. As a Girl Scouts River Valley's troop made up of 9th through 12th graders met inside their Brooklyn Center building Sunday night, gunfire erupted in the parking lot. The Girl Scouts say none of their members or volunteers were involved or hurt, but they say the shooting did require a troop leader to give the girls instructions on staying calm. And outside, the shots damaged several Girl Scouts vehicles. In all, police say six teens went to the hospital with gunshot wounds although they're all expected to live. People who work on the ground were not shot by it. Lisa Clemens leads an outreach group known as a Mother's Love Initiative. If I sum up my feelings, it would say we are in trouble. The Brooklyn Center mass shooting is the latest in a series of cases involving teen victims. Just last week in Minneapolis, 16-year-old North High student Kashmir Gruno was shot in the legs while walking home. Something has to give, something has to change. Systems have to change and it cannot be on the backs of victims. In the Brooklyn Center shooting, police say they're chasing several leads, but they haven't arrested anybody yet. The Hennepin County Sheriff's Office told us all six victims are between roughly 15 and 18 years of age. Unless we can get public defenders, the county attorney, judges, the governor, the attorney general, unless we can get all of us on the same page to address these issues, it's just gonna grow. Following the shooting in their parking lot, Girl Scouts River Valleys will be offering counseling services to their troop members. Their Brooklyn Center building was closed today, but it will reopen tomorrow. Randy. Thank you, Danny.